CBSE Class 12 Practical Skills in Biology Experiment Number Two Soil Two Point One To Study the Texture of Soil Samples Aim To Study the Texture of Soil Samples Materials Required Fifty Gram of Soil Sample Beaker Measuring Cylinder and water procedure collect soil samples from three different locations label them as a b and c respectively take 50 gram of soil sample and put it into a measuring cylinder Take some water in the beaker and pour it into the measuring cylinder. Shake the measuring cylinder to mix the sample. After shaking, allow the soil particles to settle down. Record the thickness of each layer formed by different types of particles in the measuring cylinder. Calculate the percentages of sand, silt, and clay fractions. Using a soil textural triangle, draw lines corresponding to the percentage of clay, silt, and sand. The lines where intersect indicate the type of soil we have. observations result soil separates into different layers according to the dimensions of particle as large particle settle first while smallest particle separate afterwards 2.2 to estimate the moisture content of soils collected from different localities aim to estimate the moisture content of soils collected from different localities materials required digger polythene bags crucibles burner wire gauze weighing machine tripod stand procedure collect the soil samples from different fields take small amount of soil from a sample in a crucible and weigh it take crucible and place it over the burner for few minutes heat the soil for some time till the soil becomes dry heat the crucible for few minutes over a burner allow the crucible to cool and weigh again Repeat this process until the water content of the soil evaporates completely and the weight of the dry soil becomes constant. Repeat the process for other soil samples also. Observations. Result amongst all the soil sample tested Point three: To study the pH of different samples of soils. Aim: To study the pH of different samples of soils. Materials required: Beakers, garden soil, humus-rich soil, roadside soil, riverside soil, filter papers, funnel, and test tubes. Procedure for making soil solution. Take garden soil and dissolve it into a beaker containing water to make soil solution. 
Similarly, repeat the above procedure for other soil samples. Now take a funnel, place a filter paper in it and keep it on a test tube. Take garden soil solution and filter the solution to the filter paper and collect the filtrate in a test tube. Repeat the same procedure for other sample with fresh filter papers. Universal Indicator Test Procedure Take some amount of universal pH indicator solution with the help of a dropper. Now put 4 to 5 drops of universal pH indicator solution into the test tube that contains different soil solution. Note the colors developed and compare it with the color chart. Observations pH paper test Materials required Soil solution pH paper booklet Droppers Procedure Take 4 pH paper stripes from a pH paper booklet. Place them all on a tile. Take some garden soil solution from the test tube with the help of a dropper. Now put 1 to 2 drops of this solution on the first pH strip on the tile. Using fresh droppers, repeat the same procedure for roadside soil, humusid soil and riverside soil. Dry the pH paper stripes. Note the color and compare with three color charts given on the broad range indicator paper and get rough estimate of pH of sample solutions. Observations Result The pH of soil of different samples are garden soil, Humusid soil, riverside soil, and roadside soil. 2.4 To study the water holding capacity of the given soil samples. Aim To study the water holding capacity of the given soil samples. Materials required Soil samples, polythene bags, measuring cylinders filter papers and funnels. Procedure The water holding capacity of soil is defined as the amount of water retained in the capillary spaces of the soil after percolation of water. Depending upon the nature of particles of soil, different soils have different water holding capacity. Water holding capacity of soil is an important characteristic for agriculture. Collect the different samples of soil as sand, clay and loam in separate polythene bags. Take three measuring cylinders representing sand, clay, loam soils and label them as A, B, C respectively. Place a funnel on the mouth of each cylinder and put 50 gram of each type of soil in their respective cylinders. Pour 50 ml of water in each soil sample placed in funnel. When a dripping of water from the funnel stops, record the volume of water filtered out at the end of 30 minutes. Observations Results Minimum percolation and maximum water holding capacity is shown by clay soil. Sand soil shows maximum percolation rate of water percolation in various soils differ as sand is greater than loam is greater than clay.